All right, Nifty Thrifty Girl here featuring a Kenmore Convertible Ultra Stitch 8. This is a model 158.1349. Oh, I'm sorry, 1345381. There's six numbers. Um, it is a slightly bit newer machine than what we normally offer. It does have one plastic gear on the top, but it's been checked. There's no cracks, there's no issues. Um, and she is serviced and ready to go. Um, it is still a very convenient convertible machine. And what I mean by convertible is the machine can be used one of two ways. It can be used as a flatbed, as you see here, or this little um, platform can be removed really easily. And then you have a free arm. Free arm is very handy when you're doing pants, legs, shirt sleeves, smaller projects. Um, it just lets you access all the way around. And of course this is your bobbin access as well right here in the arm. It is a class 15 machine, standard class 15 bobbins fit. It is a low shank machine. Standard low shank, so any low shank feet, foot or attachment will work. This um, deck has a little support leg that comes down so you don't break it off when you're leaning on it or sewing. It's a little support thing so you don't break it. The deck is plastic, the machine is metal, most of the machine is metal except one gear in the top. It does have both utilitarian and stretch stitches built in. Um, it has one, two, three, four, five stretch stitches. Wait, one, two, three, four stretch stitches and then straight zigzag blind and multi-point zigzag as well as an automatic button holder is built in as well. Power button is here, your reverse is here. This is your stitch selector. There's no stitch width. Your zigzag has four widths, and they're right here on the dial. Your stitch length is over here on the side. It is double needle capable. Your bobbin winder's up here on the top. It's a one amp machine. It's a very nice little machine. So, I'm gonna turn around here to the widest zigzag. Here we go. Still a nice little machine. It has the the clearance under the presser foot that all the Kenmores have. It, you know, it just might not be the best if you do heavy duty projects all the time, but it will handle them every once in a while, as well as just your regular everyday project. Let's go to multi-point zigzag. And I don't know that I have a manual. I'm gonna look for one. Sure, I can point you towards a manual download, if nothing else. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a stretch stitch, and everything's color coordinated. Kind of, kind of, yellow is stretch, red is regular. My phone is ringing. Phone, the phone is ringing. All right, so let's go to a stretch. go and you can see the fabric working up and back as it does the stretch stitch. And as I said this is a standard low shank machine so attachments and feet are not going to be expensive. It does use the regular class 15 bobbins. Has a nice, makes a nice stitch. Um, this is going to be a lower price machine because it's not all metal and it's a little newer. But it's still a nice machine. Um, nothing. It's still a nice one to have. Um, cosmetically, it has some bumps here and there. There's a little bump on the corner here in the paint. There's some little bumps in the paint every once in a while. But for a 30-year-old machine, she's not bad at all. And I would still like to have this machine over one that you could buy in a store. So my email is at the bottom of the video if you have any questions. Go find this on eBay. This is free arm week. Um, she won't last very long. Thank you.